Hi kindergarten friends, it's Miss Geiger. I wanted to pop in and kind of tell you how our new distance learning is going to be going from home. And even though we're not gonna to be together, we can still do learning through the computer or the phone. And today we're going to be doing some reading together. So what do we do before we read every day? Yeah, we sing our song. Ready? We are gathering, we are gathering on the rug, on the rug. Everyone is here now, finding their own space now. We are here, we are here. So, even though we're not on the rug and we're not together, we are still going to read together and we're still going to learn together and we're still going to remember everything that we've already learned throughout the beginning of the year. So, I am in my cozy reading spot. I am ready to read, and I'm ready to you, for you to read with me. And after, you're gonna find your cozy reading spot and get in your spot to read some of the books that we sent home with you. So, we're gonna be reading Wimberly Worried. And this book is about someone who is worried. And I know that we may have a little bit of worry right now with all this talk that's been going around um, about the virus and us not being in school and not knowing when we'll see each other, but I want to let you know that it's going to be okay and that everything, we will see each other soon and that everything will work out, okay? All right, so we're going to read When Really Worried by Kevin Hinks. What is this part of our book called? You're right, you remember, it's the front cover. What is this part called? You've learned so much. You're right. The back cover. And this part? Let me hear it. Spine. All right. And this part? This page. What is this page called? Yep. It's our title page. So we're going to be reading this book together, and we're going to be using some of the powers that we've learned before, okay? So I'm going to flip my camera around so you can see each page with me. Wimberly worried. What am I doing if I'm do tapping like this? What power am I using? You're right, that's our pointer power. Miss Geiger even has her. We are super readers chart with us and we are using that pointer power. What other powers do you think we could use when we're reading today? Yeah, our snap word power. What about this persistence, not giving up? On our picture power. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to try this today, okay? It says, we're really worried about everything. How many taps does each word get? Did you say one? You're so right. Big things. This is, what do we call this whenever? This one, you know, usually has a bubble around it. But there's not a bubble, but there's a little line right here showing that this is what Wimberly is thinking. It says, I wanted to make sure you were still here. She worried about little things and things in between. Mama, what if I shrink? Wimberly worried in the morning and she worried at night and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And always, she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? Petal's lost forever. I found her. Don't worry, said her mother. 
Don't worry, said her father, but Wimberly worried, and she worried and worried and worried. And when Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to the party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. This is the best present ever. I wish I had my birthday today. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. You, when you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry, school. Wimberly worried about the start of school, more than anything she had ever worried about before. This speech bubble's coming from who? Yeah, her dad says, I love school. How do you think Wimberly is feeling right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she has a lot of emotions about going to school. She might be scared and she's, she's nervous. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? And what if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? What are these? What punctuation is this at the end of each of these sentences? She's asking a, you're right, a question. So it is a question mark. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. And grandmother's saying, have fun. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachman, Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wimberly, there's someone I think you should meet. Her name is Jewel, and she was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes, and she was holding a doll. You can see her up here. At first, Wimberly and Jewel peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly, and I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whatever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual and sometimes even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, said Mrs. Beecham. As the students walked out the door, Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said, don't worry. The end. How do you think that she filled at the end? What can you tell by looking at the, you're right, the picture. Wimberly doesn't seem worried anymore. She's, she's, she's all better and she's happy. She's dancing. So, I really hope you enjoyed that story. Miss Geiger liked it a lot. But what I want you to do now is I want you to go and get one of your cozy books and I want you to go get settled in a reading spot. And I want you to read for at least 20, 25 minutes. Try and use your powers that we've learned. Remember, being an avid reader also, you don't look around the room, you look at your books and you don't wanna stop reading. So, until next time, I want you to practice all of your powers and I want you to tell someone in your house one of the powers that you use and show them your amazing reading skills that you've learned. So, until next time, kindergartners, have fun reading. Bye.